Radio, this is 50.com. I am your host at Gossip Viv. It's the scum lord. The Heineken is here. Woo. DJ Thorough, a.k.a. Thorough Zano, the bridge to the streets. You already know. Let's go. Manolo Rose. Pulling oh, out the choppers. The <laughs> very first interview of the year. Look at well, that. There it is. How are you, sir? I'm all right, and you? All right, now. Run, Ricky, run. You got uh-huh. niggas in Brooklyn purchasing illegal handguns <laughs> at a high <laughs> clip. I love it. <laughs> Get your vest <laughs> on discounts on me, nigga. <laughs> you know how that goes. Hey, I'm honey. Shit, great. I ain't make them do it. They already had them. Wow, well, that's where I'm from. Well, yeah, see, listen. You made the commercial for it. That's I'm, listen, I'm listening to the record, right. and it seemed like Ricky is somebody you know. <laughs> <laughs> the way he say, run, Ricky, run. Well, I mean, Ricky represented a couple people about her. You know okay. I know, oh. A few niggas that should have ran. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Doc. Uh, you got this song right here. It's the hottest motherfucker in Brooklyn. Uh-huh. Top four club record all over the city. Mm-hmm. Straight up DJ say it. Right. It's about to spread to the South, really, right. if it hasn't already. Yeah. Because you know it. Yeah, it got that energy. Hmm? You know, it, got, it got that energy. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's a thing where niggas, you know, we, we, we just like, you know, people love that, 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 that hard, aggressive. Mm. You know, energy. We ain't had that in a while, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Every mm-hmm. nigga's like uh, 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 syruped out, you right. know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, just everybody drowned out, slow down, right. sit down, relax. And it's like, you know, you be in a club, you nigga just want to pop 25 bottles, no dancing, never hit right. the dance floor. You know what I'm saying? I just want to turn up, bro. Even the way you did it was genius. You did it to, you did it to where everybody can identify with it. You right. did the Minister Society, the yeah. fucking Juice, yeah. mm-hmm. even the uh, Hall of Nights. Like, yeah, right. even the Hall of You know what I'm saying? The Boys in the Hood. Mm-hmm. Everybody can identify with that, at least right. minority-wise. Right, mm-hmm. definitely. Mm-hmm. So that was genius. You know what it's saying? called Urban now. Urban, right? That's oh. what they're saying. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. You know, well, we you minorities, know. <laughs> but it's Urban to you know the white folks. I mean, folks. you just had to, I guess, making it, you know, making the shit, making the joint flexible, man, right. where it's like, uh, you know, where, where people... And the, and the crazy thing is, when I did it, I didn't seek out to, like, make it where, you know, I'm just putting in my, my, my input on what I like to do. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And it wasn't even for that. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, I'm a people person, man. And it's like, uh, when you just ain't have a person where it's like, the people could really identify with in a long time. And mm-hmm. I just want to be that guy. Right. That's all. So, is there... I mean, the single was hot. Is right. there an album to follow, a mixtape? Yeah, it's, a, it's an EP that we dropping. You know what I mean? Concrete Rose. That's going to be really mm-hmm. good. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a bunch of joints in there. We're going to have a... We're going to make it something something small, but it's something uh, in a way where you'll get to really, really, really know me as a, and as, a, as an artist and as a person. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a person that put, uh, you know, a lot of my personal stuff and my personal feelings and, right. you know, the things that I've done into the records and so forth. Uh-oh. Let's, let, let's, go, let's go to what got you noticed before uh-huh. this record. Let's go uh-huh. into the All About The Money. Uh-huh. I know you, you I, I've seen, you know, several interviews yeah. you've done talking about this record. Right. Mm. For, for people that don't know, what's the history behind that song and... How did it come about? Well, What's you know how I, you know how it came about. You know what I mean. Well, originally it was the record I had called Dope Man, and um, and um, it was just me, me, you know, the producer named Rufio. He sent it to me, and you know, we wrote it and went from there. You know what I'm saying? But from there. I had my homie playing it at uh, at Troy Avenue barbecue and stuff yeah, like so that. Yeah, so you know he played it there, whatever, whatever. Right. And um, you know DJ Act Murder, whatever. He played it. They liked it. You know what I'm saying? They want to, you know, want to really jump on it and get behind it. You know, but it just was like a thing where it was like uh, at first, you know, it was everything was all cool. They was trying to do it, but you know, sometimes dudes want to move in the, at their own pace. You know right. what I mean? And I'm just not a man that's gonna sit around and wait for nobody to to to, to tell me. Like, oh, you know, I want to jump on this and want to do this down the third. Right. So let me stop you here. He said when he, when he first heard the record, he wanted to get, he wanted to do, to do a verse on it, or he just wanted the song from you all together. What? He wanted this. Is what he wanted. He wanted the song all together. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He wanted the song all together. So take was, you off. And yeah. Take take me off. Okay. Far, and like leave me on the hook. Okay. And take me off. You know, as far as my verses, take the verses off. Leave me on the hook. And he wanted the song and this entitlement, but um. You know, when I asked him where to send the record, it, it took him like a month to respond to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So by the time that, by the time I'm sitting there, you're talking about four weeks, I'm like, shit, I'm going to put the shit out myself. 
Because yeah. I know what it could do. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know what it is. But, you know, so in that time of him waiting, I put the shit out. Okay. And then after me putting it out, you know, he they still was like, yo, I was like, yo, I'm about to shoot a video for it. They're like, nah, don't shoot no video for it, just hold off. And I'm like, I'm not holding off no more. I, I done sat here and waited for you, for you guys for a whole month. You know what I mean? Right. So within that time span of me putting it out, you know, they still was trying to, now they try to reach out and be like, oh, let's do it. But I was like, yo, you know what, I'm gonna keep it for myself. I put it out, I'm gonna keep it for myself, it's right. over. But um, in that same time, you know, a week go by, he said, yo, I'm gonna I'm a remix the joint. I might remix it, don't be mad. I said, I don't care if you remix it, because in my head, I'm like, you remix everybody's yeah. shit. So yeah. I was like, yeah, mm. remix my shit too. Right. You know what I mean? But when a uh, week, like next two weeks, you know what I mean? Uh, somebody called me and was like, yo, you on the radio, bro. I'm like, what? So I, I, I when I answered the, when I put the radio on, I'm on the radio, but it's like, it's him and Lido with right. the verses, him saying, well, he flipped my whole second verse and made it his verse, his verse. and even took some of the lines out of my verse and then used them. And it's so We talking about Troy Ave? Troy Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it's like, yo, you know, so, you know, so when he did that, you know, you know, I had to, you know, double back and just make it right. You know what I mean? Right. That was it. I mean, because yeah. now, this shit, you know, like, sometimes people don't come back from that, right? They don't. And because that's reminiscent of what happened with YG and um and, and Future. Future. Fact. When he was like, yo, that Racks on Racks is mine, and make another one. And that's that right. nigga hit him with that Tony Montana. And right, he, and killed him. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, so, how, did you have that other song lined up? Already? Yeah, um, that run, like, Ricky, run. You that, had that lined up mm -mm, because you know the crazy thing is, I had, I had the uh, the all about the money track was done in probably like spring. All right, it was like spring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Going into the summer. Right. And um, so as all that time we running into the record, we turned up to the shit for a whole summer. You know what I'm mm. saying? We was doing the joint for a whole summer. He know that. Even his crew know. They, they was coming to our little... We had, like, parties and stuff. You know, we do, like, underground events. Oh, they was coming through, that's the nasty. You know what I'm saying? They was coming through, you know what I mean, spot we had in Brooklyn called The Flat. They yeah. was coming through, and they, they seen it. They knew what it was, you know what I mean? Right. That, that you know, it was already drinking. It was it was doing what it's doing. You know what I mean? So, I had the Run Ricky Run joint maybe, like, you know, after everything was, like, working out. You know what I'm saying? We trying to see what we going to do. They did what they did. Then I made the run Ricky run, you know what I mean? Because right. I already knew, you know what I mean? Because my thing is like this, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's about your counter move, you know what I mean? They can make any move you want to make, you know what I mean, on a chessboard. Right. You know, it's about what you do after you make that move. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something. Where, where you at with you and Av? Like, is with it him? just, yeah. No, nah, no, nah, Av having them, you know what I'm saying? Just to clean it up now, because yeah. everybody's not going to know. Yeah. So what's, how do y'all move on? Do y'all um, have... Future records to put together. Well, well, we probably don't have no future records to put I'm together. Really. But <laughs> nah, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, I don't harbor any personal feelings mm -hmm. towards him. And he mm -hmm. shouldn't harbor any 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 towards me. You know what I mean? It is what it is at this point. Because your right? record is like this in, in the city, like yeah. 42nd Street. Yeah. Where the people they get yeah. like, mm -hmm. it's right, it's growing. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's what I said. Like I, you know, I moved on. You know what I'm saying? I'm on. A, I'm, I'm I'm I did the Run Ricky Run, and it, and it's doing what it's doing. And he put out the doodle record. So that's that's cool. Right. Run, Ricky, run. 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 The nigga sitting out the window. Damn. The homie about to dump. Sure. Those boys a motherfucking fool. Yeah, motherfucking he should have killed the Jerry Curry head nigga when he had the chance to. Nah, nah, nah. The moral story is you never let a nigga get away with nothing. Nah. She hopping out the whip like Trey when she see the young player starting on at the red light. Yeah. And I be pulling up the chopper, got you niggas wide open.